Waggle on back of the wall. Ever egg, give me good. Another style episode with more SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom on the Nintendo GameCube and welcome to it. So, a lot of time. Because uh, we've been uh, going solving up around here by playing this Patchet. Because we're here now in the uh, like, Kelp Swamp, is where we are. And it uh, turns out because uh, there's uh, one of this uh, duplicator charm that we can destroy with our crew bubble of ours. Because uh, we're not to get to, um, we're not get a chance to, to see what the SpongeBob and Mr. Krabs have to say. We go ahead and approach to him. Okay, so he's still saying ahoy to you. Same old, same old stuff again. Yeah, because I want to go ahead and like, you know, if you, in case that we want to go ahead and change, it, it just the um the sound effect. So we could just have the sound effect j exactly just like that because I, I just wanted to like um listen to hear what these, these characters are talking about. So uh, we're, we're all set here and we're ready to go. So at the end of the uh, Kelp Swamp, and we are getting inside the other cave. There we, we witness it spot on because if it's going to be Barnacle Boy. So this is the, the Kelp Cave. So, okay, so the Kelp Cave is when we're having a net. So this is where we go meeting, running into uh, Barnacle Boy over and over again. Hey kid, I could really use your help if you had some time to spare. Sure Barnacle Boy, what do you need? I'm trying to recover my lost energy crystals and power my new secret superhero power. It seems the robots have found my supply and have hidden them in this cave. Secret superhero power? Oh, what to do, what to do, what to do? If I told you, it wouldn't be a secret, would it? Just trust me, it's worth finding these crystals. I'd go search it myself, but my bunions are acting up today. Well then, you rest those super bones of yours. I'll get searching for these crystals. Okay then. So, and we are looking to see how many crystals there are. Well, it's not, it doesn't appear in the, uh, in the, in the pod menu. So we, we talked to uh, the, the Barnacle Board again. I don't have all my crystals yet. I hope you're still helping me find them. Yes, I am, Barnacle Boy. I'm doing my best. Okay, good to hear. <laughs> uh, maybe you can get Patrick's help if you're having trouble. Um, okay. Well, at least we can play with the patch at any time we felt like it. So what we saw is this uh, metal panel that we can step on. And we'll go ahead and press an L to the crew bubble to hit that button. And over on the other side, because... Um, so we only need to get more, but um, but six of the other crystals. Okay. So there's only like five remaining. So we we already collect just only one. So look at to see what we got going in here. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, I think I pressed the wrong button. I think it was. Yeah. So I, I think I was supposed to not press the L button because I think I was supposed to press um, A and then X to the bubble bounce. So what we saw was uh, above here is that shiny object. So. I rather think that we should go and get Patrick for this operation. So we we, we play we play a little bit of SpongeBob. So now we're gonna be, be uh, sticking around and playing as Patrick again. So we go talk to uh, the Barnacle Boy. Hello there, Barnacle Boy. Uh, uh hi. Um, I need uh, SpongeBob's help if you see him. Okie dokie. All right. Then. So it's a scene like that Patrick and Barnacle Boy are getting quite along smoothly but not so much so ever so yeah so we can uh, get SpongeBob or patch of help anytime we we felt like switching character then we go and use the bus stop so at the uh, at the uh, up above the this uh, surface above so that over there is um it's another crystal so you know what we need to go and keep switching more characters by using the uh, bus stop of course and once we do that so we'll go ahead and switch to playing SpongeBob for the very first time so let's get SpongeBob out, and we'll go and move around here. Okay, so we'll go and move around this corner of the, the Kelp Cave, and we'll go ahead and bounce on the leaves. So we'll go and get to upper, higher surfaces, and when we do that, so we'll go. Ahead, uh, yeah, well, we're not ready to, to do this um, this crew bubble challenges yet because we need to get that that second crystal. So there's only four remain. And once we do that, so we're we'll going to hit the crew bubble to hit that button. So that go and open the um, the, the, the bamboo fences. So that way we can press onward below down this section. Yeah, because there's uh, a lot of these interesting mechanics to go around here in the Kelp Fort because there's uh, several of these uh, puzzles that we gotta get solved around here. So that's a robot we can take out, and uh, that is our first checkpoint. And that over there is a, it's a sleepy time. We can take it out with the crew bubble. Make it much more easier to kill. And I think we need, we, we still need to get Patrick for this. 
So let's just see if we uh, find any teleport bots. But well, you know what? Uh, I'm not sure if there's gonna be a, a, a teleport bot hitting around this this area. So I reckon that we go to the bus stop and switch to the planet Patrick. All right. Well, we knew we already have the, the teleportation bot where it's already open. So that way we just go use our imagination. So that way we can uh, see which other area we we already transport to. So uh, let's go ahead and check on this puzzle right here. Now we really want to know where to put this this stone tiki at. So I think we should go and put it next to this uh, pressure plate. Okay, so that go and lead to the uh, to the fur crystal. So that means they're gonna be more, but the three of the, the, the crystal remain. So let's go ahead and collect that. We'll collect one of those crystals, and there's nothing going on in the other side. Okay, so what did this panel do? Okay, so I really think we should go and get fun buff for this. Yeah, because we're just uh, switching with uh, random characters. So we we play a little bit with Patrick. And now we have to go back and play a little bit more with uh, SpongeBob. Well, SpongeBob is a uh, it's a one fit best for the other job to to be crew bubbling on buttons right now. So let's get SpongeBob out and switching back to play as SpongeBob. Uh, we are going to make our our turf way move further this area. Back to where we left off, where we go and get the 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 first crystal. And once we do that, so we'll go ahead and stand on this panel. And take the crew bubble around further to the left, and there we saw that we got very. There's the button we can push. So that go ahead and uh, lead us to our secret passes, which we saw up above because that is over there. It's uh, a monsoon. So this monsoon is back, so we can take it out with the. Uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, but we got crew bubble now because. Hold on, hold on. Nah, I don't want to get too close to that. Um, to that monsoon. So, okay, well, at least we use the crew bubble to take out that cloud. Okay, but we, I couldn't actually see. Okay, now I can barely see where the, the monsoon is. Okay, well, I know I want the crew bubble to um to hit the um the the monsoon. Okay, so we just wanted to stop spamming thunder cloud all day. Okay, so so yeah, so I just got hit, so I'll go and collect myself a fresh pair of underwear. Yes, you you are SpongeBob. Yes, you are. And also, we can go ahead and push onward up this this obstacle. So that on the other side, because we saw because that there is a robot we could take out, and that is the one of Patch and Missing Salt we can collect. So let's go collect one of those. Well, yes, indeed, SpongeBob. Um, Patrick does need a new laundry because it's a it felt like his his socks is like, getting kind of funky. Because I, he, because Patrick is not keeping up a clean cover of his uh, socks, and he need to to get himself a, a new laundry. Okay, so we go pushing the button. So that go ahead and open the other uh, way to to the other side where we go and collect one last of this crystal. Um. Anyway, uh, let's go back and get Patrick for this. All right. So we need to we need to keep on switching to playing random characters. So we'll go press on the R button to go switch the planet's Patrick and planet's Patrick. So uh, we'll go and bounce on this leaf and go figure out where to find the next Tiki. Okay, so in order to get the Tiki, so I maybe need to to move downward a little bit. Okay, we kind of knew already where to find this um this crystal at. So uh, how do we do this? Okay, you know what? I think we gotta go and reset it. So we gotta go and reset it first. And then we go and take the stone tiki way sky high above the um, the optical. So let's go ahead and pick up the, the stone tiki and throw upward. And we keep throwing this uh, stone tiki again. So we'll have the stone tiki go and land on this uh, pressure plate. So that we see those uh, plant roots can go and lift sky high. So that way we can uh, reach above surfaces to go and find out where that crystal is. 
Okay, so the, the crystal is uh, wait a minute. Now let's get that purple shiny Yaja. It may seem important that way. Yeah, well, it's uh, more just stuff to get around. So now there's only two of the remain crystal left. So let's uh, stop bouncing and move back further below. And we'll go and pick the stone tiki and go take it further to the other side. Okay, so I think this is our first checkpoint. So uh, now over on the other side because that is uh, a crystal. Yeah, I'm not counting to see how many checkpoints that we did trigger. Yeah, I may be sincerely confused a little bit, but you know what? That's okay. So we'll go ahead and have Patrick go and throw the stone to the pressure plate. Okay, and we see what those do. So that go ahead and lift up higher roots. Yeah, because it puzzles get me kind of confused a little bit by it as a kid because somehow you just uh, had to to figure out which stone tiki you want the uh, the pressure plate to uh, to activate. So what we saw already because a very is a green shiny Aja and that crystal, that second crystal from above. So what we can stop at doing is uh, go and go find some uh, go find a fruit somewhere. But this may not get easy, so all we just gotta do is uh, quickly hurry up with this uh, melon fruit of ours. So where can we find another fruit at? But I swear there had to be like another fruit that we can that we can carry. But it turns out that we're gonna move a little bit too slow with it. So like for example, we pick up this uh, melon, go throw at it. Because we may not move quick enough. Okay, let's try this. Yeah, because this uh, this is gonna get kind of hard actually. So all we just gotta do is is quickly hurry up with this melon before it wilts. Okay, and then we throw it. Yeah, but you see that the timing is kind of hard actually because we gotta move quick with the melon before it wilts. Because it wilts only 15 seconds. So uh, let's try it again. Okay, simple. So we throw at it, pick up the melon, and then go take it to the other side. Oh, come on now. Okay, I don't have time for enemy right now, so let's just move on. Okay, so we'll go kill that ju that jellyfish. Okay, well it turns out this uh, monsoon and the rest of these robots are not going to respond here. Okay then. Well, it's fine. I mean, we just clear all of these robots. I mean, we're free to do whatever we like. So hold on a minute. Now, we did not figure out where the stone tiki is. So we're going to have to find one. And it's right over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and take it around here. Wait a minute. So that robot is still alive. Okay, well, we could just, we could just ignore the robot. That's fine. Okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead and pick up this melon again, and go and try this challenge. So we're gonna try this challenge again. So we pick it up the melon, pick it up again, and then we hurry up with this melon before it wilts. Okay, that's that's pretty slow. That is so. So slow. Okay, I don't know if we can we can make it or not, but uh, you know what? Let's try throwing at it. Okay, well that's kind of that's kind of like a land fail there. Okay, so we'll throw the melon, go jump to pick it up, and then we go and bounce on these leaves. So that way we can hurry up to get to the other side and then go throw at it. Come on. Patrick, I uh, howl I'm so terrible at throwing that melon to the teeter totter at the target spot. Come on, Patrick. Okay, so stop throwing random places. Can you focus on like throwing the VV as a melon to the teeter totter? Come on now. Okay, so we're going again. Let's hope we don't mess this up. 
So there's not gonna be any melons hitting all around here. Yeah, but I tried to move quicker really because it was still a landfill. So we had to go back and get the tiki. Because I'm gonna keep this um this camera up close to Patrick. Well I can barely see what, what he's doing. So I'm gonna just keep it just like that. So let's let's go ahead and pick up the tiki and go and throw it next to his pressure plate. Okay, well I just hope these robots do not attack me. Okay, well let's uh, let's try this again. Okay, I think we did not do it properly, but turns out it was uh, still a landfill and we, we couldn't actually try to, to done this trick. Okay, one more time. Okay, there we go, finally. You see, it was uh, just way too darn frustrating a little bit, but because it turns out that you gotta like hurry up with the melon because you just gotta like throw at it far effect to reach. Okay, because you just gotta be quick about it, but bouncing on these leaves. And then get to a further optical because you just gotta be quick about it because it was still way too darn frustrating. Okay, I'm not liking how this is going to go because this is way too darn frustrating for me at, the, at this game because uh, it was uh, so hard. So, we got here is a several of these uh, robot to clear, so let's go ahead and use our belly slot to destroy one of those. And actually, I think there's one of this uh, pressure plate that we gotta keep an eye out for. So, um, oh, let me see now. I think we need to go back and get another stone tiki somewhere. So, yeah, let's uh, go back and find one. So, this is the chapel where we left off. So, there are several of these uh, regular robots that can shoot laser beam right out of their eyes. Alright, so we're, we're gonna pick up this stone tiki. So, we'll pick up this stone tiki and take it all the way further. Okay, so not further to where the pressure plate is. This uh, pressure stone or whatever we call it. Well, uh, I mean, we could just call it pressure stone. No big difference. Okay, but we do realize because of there is another of this uh, stone tiki. That, uh, not stone tiki. Uh, this uh, stone pressure plate that we, we had to, to let the stone tiki go and stand on. So, let's see now. So, how we do this? So, can we just throw it onto the other side? Okay, I think we did. Okay, so moving back to the uh, melon. Now, we wanted to uh, properly time this right because taking the melon all the way far effect to reach through the optical is not going to be pretty easy. So what we do need here is to uh, just throw the, the, the fruit. Okay, so we're going to have to reset it because we need we need that fruit to, to go further in, uh, in 8 distant degrees. Okay, well we need it to, to, to have the melon go fly to in, in 8 distant. Okay, so we, so yeah, that that one is a miss there. So the, the so I wasn't properly getting that close angle. So we're gonna have to the, the pick up the fruit, go throw it at the other uh, platform, hurry up with this melon, and take it next to those leaves. All right, come on, hurry! All right, there we go. Yeah, well, leave the belly flop. The, the belly slam does not destroy the. Stone Tiki, but at least we got it. Okay, so we need that to get that last of his crystal. So that is what we need to do. So I think we done play enough with that Patrick. So let's not go back and play with um with more random characters. So I reckon that we go into switching the plane as Fun Bob for this. And once we get that last of his crystal, then somehow we'll we'll go ahead and return back to the Barnacle Boy for a reward. All right, so switching back to playing Fun Bob. Alright, so we'll go ahead and bounce back up this platform of the edge. And once we do that, so we'll go ahead and and quickly go on it right ahead and get on to to our top of these um these leaf platform where we go start by bouncing to get that crystal. So that's the last crystal that we found in the uh, in the kelp cave. So how do we get, how do we get back? Okay, so is there another good explanation of getting back to where we are? I mean, we can go ahead and do this. Okay, well that that does work for the best. So we figure out what this um this metal panel can do. So as we touch our foot, was uh which is pl pressure plate. So we can actually memorize to where the button is. So the button is uh way 
further around to the uh, to the left corner. So that go ahead and open the way to the uh, golden spatula, of course. So uh, let's go back and actually know what there is. I didn't realize because there's gonna be another stone tiki from above. Okay, and that should be the last camper. All right, now let's just go back and report back to Bullock Boy for for reward. All right, so going back to to Bullock Boy, so we go in and climb up this edge. Okay, so we'll get the favorite place that where we want to go. And here's Bullock Boy right now. Boy, I think I found all your crystals. Now I can see your secret superpower. All right, stand back. <laughs> oh boy. There! What happened? I gained the power to trim my nose hairs at super speed. Incredible. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, 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 I guess so. Uh, well then, uh, I need to return to the normal air and get back to work. <laughs> but uh, here, take this golden spatula and go away. Okay, dude, no need to be rude to SpongeBob. I mean, SpongeBob's. Of course, Barnacle Boy. I'm always happy to lend my services to my favorite superhero. If you ever run into trouble again, let me know. Okay, I did not even get the the, the, the rest of the dialogue. Well, uh, well SpongeBob is going just going to keep on talking over and over. Well, as I was saying, I mean, Bonica Boy don't have to be so rude and nasty to SpongeBob. I mean, SpongeBob was uh, was always trying to help. I mean, he worked as the hero of the, the legend. I mean, he he would always he always help a lot of these people. Yeah, sure, kid. <laughs> Thanks <laughs> and goodbye. All right, well, let's go ahead and take the golden spatula, like our Bonica Boy asked. I mean, he doesn't want to, to talk anymore with Spongebob. Alright, well, at least we got our saving progress. So, I'll talk to Barnacle Boy again. Hi again, Barnacle Boy. Uh, hey kid. Anything I can help you with? No, just saying hi to one half of my favorite superhero duo. Gee, uh, that's great, kid. But, uh, don't you have some robot thingy to get back to? Why, well, yeah, I mean, that may seem important. Well... Like, uh, he's, he's not wrong, I mean, there's like, still a lot of uh, robots going on around him in the bikini bottom. Okay, now, see what Patrick and Barnacle Boy had to say. Hey, it's the pink blobby guy. Uh, yeah, that is the pink blobby guy you're looking at. Well, no, that is the pink starfish. Technically, it's, um, not, the, the starfish is not technically a blob. It's a, it's a, it's a cross to a, it's a shape as a star. And it was, uh, it just came from outer space. Well, don't give me any wrong ideas. But you know what, you guys, I do believe that's gonna have to do it. So, next time on SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, we are going to move out of here at the, uh, the Kelp Cave. So, we're gonna get that golden spatula. And at the, uh, at the end of the uh, Kelp Cave, there we're gonna run into is, um, is more, uh, Mermaid Man. So, that will be coming up on next series, you guys. So, you don't go anywhere and you will be particular on staying tuned. On the next video. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to tune in and watching this episode. So if you're liking this series and you want to see more of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, be sure to leave an advertise a like, share the video, and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, ring that notification bell so that you'll be still up to notify when my news and awesome videos have another way. So just making sure you guys are staying tuned in and by all means all the issues want to be description or fell down below. So if you'd like to help support the series, you can do so review that step by step. Just to help get you on started on support my channel. And for the series. So that's gonna be all it for SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. We'll be picking up more in the next one. So take care guys. I hope to talk to you on the next next video.